This month's horizontal pull push lunge workout, we're doing an alternating uh, bent over row, going into an archer style push up, a weight style, weight shift style push up, then going to go into a five directional lunge. So if you've got dumbbells, definitely a good idea to use for this one, so you get that nice constant loading. So different variations in the bent over row position are with the bent knee in about a 45 degree angle, then we pull like that. Then you can go into more of a horizontal position, provided you can keep that nice lumbar curve. Then you can go into a straight leg position, so getting that hamstring loading at the same time. You can do that using the band. So you're standing on it, you just pull one side at a time and just create the amount of desired tension with it. That. You can double it over, make it heavier. Just the same with the band, it's always going to be as you pull it gets harder, but as you lower down it gets easier. So it doesn't have that same loading in the end range because the tension comes from when you lengthen out the band. Uh, for the push up, just going on the floor, different ways to make it harder and easier. Obviously, you want to have your straight push up down first. Um, really focusing on good form, pushing right through, being able to get that chest to the floor and lock out, push right up. Then you can have an easy bit apart when you first start this and stay on the knees and just bend one elbow out and one elbow in, like that, press up, bring that, get massive deep, get that chest down, get the core tight. You can make it much harder by coming up with the toes, keep that elbow out, so the majority of the weight is being lifted by one side. If you've got that down, you can go to the version where you're straightening out one arm, much heavier, as you go down. So as I go down here, that arm's gonna stay straight. Oh. So it's pretty much a one arm push up. So it's a bit heavier, but I, uh, yeah, just work the level that's right for you and obviously depending on what conditioning response you want from it, because it is a pretty heavy movement, it's good to go back some versions so that way you can make it a bit more hypertrophy based to get some development out of it, because if you go too hard a version it's just like that one or two rep max, um, so it makes it a little bit harder to get the conditioning response you're after, but it is good to train that provided you've got good form and alignment. The lunge, you're doing five reps aside. Um, five different directions. So I curtsy across, straight, 45. And when I'm coming out on here, the back knee is going to bend, the hips stay squared at the front. Then I'm going out to the side and then rotating. So I do those. You can load it up to make it heavier. Then the other side, one, two, funky, just sticking the straight line, lunges is best and just getting them stronger and stronger. And then if you're new to doing these, just take away the weight, do a body weight, don't add any weight, just see how your body pulls up from it before you start adding more load to it. So four rounds of that, um, yeah, it depends on how, you, how you're how going if, in the intensity, if you're going to go 30 for each and then 30 each leg on the lunge, or you get both legs done in the 30 and have that full rest. But you are resting the upper body, especially if you don't load the lunges. That way you can just totally relax the upper body before you go back into that bend over row and go into those uh, weight shift push-ups. For the extra, this is the three minute round. We're doing a posterior delt, rear delt fly uh, in the rings. So you've got to keep a decent amount of weight in the feet for this. These are uh, super heavy. So the easy version would just be doing a wide pull. That. Then you could do a wide pull into that extension and then come back down. Then you want to work on keeping the arms straight the whole time. You kind of have to make it hard, especially because as you're coming up, there's going to be a lot more weight in the legs. But it is super heavy. Great exercise. Just make sure you do the right version.
then for the fly, if you're doing, uh, if you're using a band, this one doesn't work too bad, it's pretty good, you can just wrap it around the body and just getting that nice fly action pressing through, really getting that nice press like that, you can make it harder by either using a heavier band but then also by wrapping it around a pole or something so that that way you can create more resistance depending on the angle. So when I come into that press, like that, that's heavy and then as I come back I can pretty much just pour a little bit to keep some load there and then I'll push myself back and then load it. That works fairly well. Uh, and then for the lunge, just 10 lunges. So usually we'll just do like a three minute cutoff um, to six beeps. So you're doing that guy, going into the fly for five, five, and then five each leg. So it might be just like a jumping style. If that's a bit funky on your knees or whatever, just do it as a step back. We're getting three rounds done within a three minute period. So it's nice, tight. Um, and then just kind of fits those muscles in a slightly different way and a little bit more fatigue to add into the system. So yeah, keep us posted, let us know how you're going with all the movements and if you've got any injuries or whatever and you've got questions and you need modifications, whatever, sing out. The whole point is to keep training, keep conditioning your body, keep enjoying your training uh, and, and you know, listen to it, work with it. The tissues do get stronger, they do come back, but you just sometimes you've just got to back off, work around it. Um, and stay positive while you're doing that. So, hope to see your videos and, and uh, see you soon.